Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's our Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube, and I am back off hiatus. I just want to say hello, you know what I'm saying? I'm back, I'm finally back to making regular videos right now. We've been doing crazy promotion for sports commentator March Madness, and I know you guys want to see more of David Alpha King Carter, and I know you guys want to see the creation of my small forward, but you gotta wait, you gotta hold on, you gotta just be patient. But what I want to talk to you guys today in this commentary is about trusting your teammates, and I'm gonna tell you why. Me personally, you guys already know the type of player I am. I'm a quick isolation guy, I like getting to the rack, I love getting open for three pointers. But the type of player that I am not is a guy that runs to a blue circle and is forced into running plays all game long. Now, I know you guys will notice throughout this video, as I'm coming down the court, there is a blue circle that I am running to. And it is only for one reason. I have turned run plays on. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, what's the reason you turn run plays on? I don't get it. What's the big deal? Well, personally, I'm going to tell you two things about me myself. I like watching tip videos, and I don't know how I made that dunk, but it was hot. <laughs> um, also, I love watching tutorial videos, so when I'm searching on YouTube for certain games and I'm searching tutorials and tips like that, I notice a lot of different videos come up in the search, and I had stumbled upon a Chris Smooth video, and as I was watching it, I noticed that he had run plays on, and I was like, "What? The, what is the run plays actually doing for him, and I noticed that it's letting him not intentionally do much, but he's getting his teammates involved more than just coming down, scoring 60, getting 20 assists. What happens is when you run certain plays, you may not be awarded the assist, but the points still go on the board. So what I decided to do was actually try run plays out for myself. But check me out as I get the crazy off the backboard dunk. You know me, man. They not playing no replays for the king. So you know I got to throw the crazy effects in there. But I will tell you guys, it is a gift and a curse with running plays. The gift is that it feels more realistic like real basketball. But the only bad thing about running plays is... If the play breaks up at any drop of a dime, when they pass you the ball, you maybe have about six seconds to make a tough decision on if you're going to shoot the ball or if you're going to pass it into the hands of the person that, you know, you want the shot to be given to. But check me out on this nice play popping out up top. I did get bumped, but I did turn out the lights as well. Check me out. Come to where the action is. See your trailblazers up close and personal. Always great to see the captain doing what he does best. Make sure to be there. Come out and represent your town. All right, now that we're in the second quarter, I've been noticing a few things about me and my minutes. Um, I'm supposed to be averaging about 42 to 43 minutes per game, maybe 44. But what I've been noticing is the coach has been taking me out of the game very very early like first quarter he'll probably take me out with seven minutes left in the quarter then he'll you know i'll play probably down to about the three minute mark and he'll take me out again as well and even sometimes in the start of the second quarter i'll be on a bench until maybe about nine minutes and sometimes that kills me because i'm trying to put points on the board but i can't do nothing i can't fight the coach i can't call for the ball i just got to take what i can get but i'm still turning out the lights <laughs> it hasn't even been close Trailblazers out in front, just dominating this one. From the Rose Garden in Portland, Oregon, we're back in a moment. Now, presented by Sprint. Welcome to Halftime. I'm your host, Damon Bruce. Out at the Rose Garden, we got a lopsided game through two. Portland with the lead against Memphis. They're a team in fifth place in the conference standings right now. The captain dominating the first two quarters. High percentage looks in the first half. Amazing work from the field. Shooting in the high 60s. That's big time bucket buying. And there's no quitting the Grizzlies. They came to win. Great ball control offensively. The turnover differential a major advantage right now. Rudy Gay is their top scorer. He has 13 points and he's been able to provide some nice assists as well. And that'll do it as the second half is about to start. All right, you guys, now that we're in the second half, I want to tell you guys more about why you should run plays all game long. Now, if you're a guy like me that likes to run plays, his own set plays that work, I'll tell you why running plays all game long will work as well. Now, when you run plays all game long, you'll notice up in the top, I think it's top right or top left of my screen, 
the play will pop up that I run. Now, if that play works to perfection, guess what I do? What I do is, as I'm recording, I'll go back, I'll write down the minute marker, and I'll say, okay, this was the last play that I ran. It worked to perfection. We got either a three-pointer, we got either an alley-oop, we got either a bounce pass that, you know, was a nice cut to the basket, and that play will work, and I can actually run that play for certain people anytime I want. But check me out trying to put the moves on this guy. You can see that we don't have any play right here. So I just gave the ball to Drummond. And I, to tell you the truth, I thought Drummond was going to totally botch that whole layup animation. But he got the layup off. And, you know, we do what we do. But back to the running plays, guys. Also, another thing. I've been talking to a few people that actually, you know, develop playbooks and stuff like that. And I've noticed that these guys saying that some of these plays are a little bit too tight. That's why you get bumped around a lot. But what I've noticed with Portland is they don't run me off the ball that much. And I know it's because I'm the point guard, but I kind of like it that way. You know, when I create my small forward, I'm probably going to have to get a whole new feel for it, you know, running off the ball because with my point guard, I do everything, you know, and it feels good that way, you know. But check out the nice little fader. I'm doing what I need to do, but my team is totally up too much right now. This is one of those games where you know a team is going to give up. You know, um, I remember when I played the Miami Heat in the finals, and we were beating them by a certain amount of number, and it's like the whole entire team gave up. You had LeBron on the bench, Wade was on the bench, Ray Ray was on the bench, Bosch was on the bench. So right, right about now, I'm just waiting for this team to totally give up. I can't do any wrong, you know. I don't have to put up a bunch of different points. I'm just trying to get my nice little double-double, my nice little stat line. And even, I'm not even running point right now. I'm off the ball. So, and check check this out. Did you see the play when they called the clear out? Look at this right here. Oh, my Lord. This is crazy. This is what we're doing out here. Check my vertical. You know what I'm saying? The vertical tell you all. 44 inches. That's what we're doing out here. <laughs> but, as you can see right here, Smith is running point. I'm running shooting guard. Now, when you're running shooting guard, you're off the ball as well. But it seems like the play just sets up and develops for me. Now, that should have been a turnover. That was totally my fault. But I got a second chance, man. Wesley, man. Oh, did you see? Hold on. Wait. Stop the calm. Stop the calm. Oh, my God. The cameraman recorded this. I'm putting this on World Star. It's only right. This got to go on World Star. Check this ball out. Grab somebody. Please grab him. Oh, my God. He needs ankle support. As the fourth quarter gets rolling here, let's check out our Sprite uncontainable game. Let's go to Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Guys, it was the stretch by the Trailblazers that garners the uncontainable game today. They have been in their grills and bothering shots all game, and they've been able to maintain that level of intensity as their lead grows. Okay, Doris, thank you. And that was quite a run, guys. That made a big impact. All right, you guys, this is the fourth quarter. We're up 30 points. The team has given up. All the starters are on the bench. I'm clearing it out, doing what I need to do. I'm about to go to the rack off a nice spin move. And, woo! I ain't pop no molly, but woo! But all I can say is, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching these videos, man. I love having fun with this game, man. I, I promise you. <laughs> but you see me checking that out on the break. I'm trying to figure out who I was going to pass it to. And I decided to go for the alley-oop. We shaking the rim out here. It's getting crazy in Portland. This is what happened in Rip City, man. But um, I know you guys probably had a few questions about earlier in the video about the intro, in fact. The intro was made by Shady0018. Now, he made intros for a lot of us different commentators during uh, a certain span when the game first came out. So that's my intro tag video. I'm going to be using it, you know, a lot more in my NBA 2K videos because that joint is hot. Also, you guys always ask me, who makes my beats? Who made my song? Well, I'm going to tell you right here, right now, X Chase Money is the guy that provides me with all my bangers, all my beats. And Jive Turkey is the one that recorded the song for my point guard. You guys should know how that song go. If you don't know the lyrics, something is totally wrong with you. But this right here, I'm going to leave this as the last play. I need to get up out of here. I'm going to let Jive Turkey do the talking. Peace, y'all. Greg Oden didn't pan out, so they drafted our pod. 
David caught a perfect picture like a tripod A point guard that delivers like Papa John's Me drafted as the front page topic I'm Philly pride, Team Villanova Finesse game but the heart of a soldier When I go to the rack there's no stopping me Better bring a double team, better stand properly <laughs> On defense, move your feet Taking the blaze to the chip to abuse the heat I was raised like a crip cause I ruled the street Not the court, the blacktop, the moves, the heat Pull off, it's like the late, great, great Magic Johnson I got drafted 11, that was nonsense Name a player that penetrates better Number 15 on the polo sports sweater Chris Paul better pass the torch fast I'm the weatherman on the court to forecast Said it's gon' rain, I'ma bring pain Double team Dave Carter bet I go lame I'm the king, LeBron better step off He kicked the door down, I'll blow the deck off No rookie in this league can get with me Most points, most assists, better make history History, history You guys were rolling tonight, and you really seem to be feeling it with your shot. How much of a factor did that play in the win? Man, to tell you the truth, man, my shot was not the factor. This was a team effort. I haven't seen this team play like this all season long. I know we started out on the wrong foot, but we're trying to go back to the NBA Finals, man. We're trying to do what we did last season. Let's go, man. We in Portland, Rip City. Let's do this. Oh, it's nice to get on a little bit of a roll, and even nicer when we end up winning the game. I just kept getting open, and the guys were getting me the ball at the right time. So yeah, I guess my performance was a factor in the win, but the team as a whole made it happen as part of executing our offense the way it's supposed to be run. It definitely wasn't just me. Definitely. Yo, I just want to thank everybody for watching. This is IKC signing out. And I know a couple of y'all are probably going to say, IKC, man, you sound totally different. Well, I did lose my voice the other day, so, you know, I'm on the get back, though. But the videos ain't going to stop. Y'all already know how I do, man. It's the grind move. Get with it or get lost. This is IKC signing out. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>